Alright, so um, let's continue to talk about the electron configuration. So uh, we finished talking about this table. Now I want to talk about the worksheet one. Okay. Now the worksheet one, the first page, like the front page, is the uh, long hand. Okay. And then the back page would be uh, short hand. So uh, because this worksheet, you don't need to do the F. So I'm going to ask you to cross out number six and number eleven because they involve F. You don't need to do it. So we first of all look up the Na. Uh, the Na is so uh, sodium is atomic number eleven. Okay, so sodium is atomic number eleven. So we write that down. Okay, and then how do we start it? Is we can start with the beginning. Okay, we start with the beginning. Is like one s. There's a one s here. There's another another one s here. So they're still on period one. It's still s, but we have two of them. So we will say 1s2. This is 1s1, this 1s2. So they're on the same level. So we call 1s1. But if you count 1s, uh, I'm sorry, 1s2. Okay, it's 1s2. But if you go to 1s2, you're just on helium, number two. We have to go to sodium. So we have to go down. So here would be two, second period, two, s, two. And then two, second period, p, Six one two three four five six. So it will be two s two two p six. But we still only get to Leon. We have to go down to the next one to get a sodium. So sodium will be three s. Now how many s? It's only one. So three s one. So it's gonna be one s two two s two two p six three s one. Now how do you know that you get this correctly? If you add all the exponent electrons, 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 1 should be 11, which is the same thing as the atomic number. So how do you know you get it correctly? If you, ch you add all the exponent electrons, you should get the atomic number. Okay. So let's do another one. Um, chlorine is 17. Okay, so we start. Okay, so I'm not going to read this. Okay, I'm reading the periodic table. Okay, so the first one, right, 1s, 1, 1s, 2, so this is 1s, 2, 2s, 2, okay, because this is s, this is p, so 1s, 2, 2s, 2, 2p, 6, 3s, 2, 3p, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, so we will have 1s, 2, 2s, 2, 2p, 6, 3s, 2, 3p, 5, okay. Now we go back to the number one here, all right? We need to answer how many valence electron. So the valence electron the definition is the total electron on the outermost shell, meaning that we are looking for the highest period number. So right here, my period is the represented by one, two, two, three, right? My highest is three. So we underline the three, and the electron we circle is one. That means that sodium will have one valence electron. Now it makes sense because when we talk about the Lewis structure, we say, Column one, we will have one valence electron on the Lewis structure, and then eight does it is on column one, so it has one valence electron. Now, um, Cl, right? The highest energy level is three, so we underline both three, and we have two and five. You don't want to write seven; you want to write two plus five equals seven because it indicates two from S, five from P, which is seven. Okay, well, how do we know it's correct? Because we have two from here, right? And then one, two, three, four, five. So we actually call them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, CL is on column seven. So we will have seven mass electron. And two from the S, five from the P. And then we're gonna do the next one is SE is 34 atomic number. So 34, which is right here. So we can start to count. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2. Now when we get up here, it's not 4d because remember we said that it looks like an apple get chunk, like bite off. So when this is 4, this is actually 3d10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 3d10 and then we go back to 4p4. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we'd be like that. Well, again, how do you know your answer is correct? If you add all the exponent, you should get the same number, 34. Right, two plus two plus six plus two plus six, two plus two plus 10 is four, should be 34. 
and um, the valence electron, we underline the highest energy level is 4 and 4. We underline both, so 2 plus 4 equals 6. That means 2 from S, 4 from P. And we can do one more, zinc. Zinc is number 30, so 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, 3P6, 4S2, uh, 3D10. Get up here, okay? So the highest energy level is 4, so it's 2S electron. Okay, now the back is actually the short hand, right? The long hand is too long, right? So we have another um, way to do it is with the short hand. Now, short hand meaning the noble gas configuration. Now, what does that mean by noble gas? It's group 18, the last column, which is this one, the last column, noble gas, right? So the method to do is you need to go uh, when you find the um, um, element on the periodic table you need to go up one period and go all the way to the last column that's the method so for example si is 14 so what you're going to do is we go one up and then go all the way to the right hand side we find it's leon so we write down bracket leon now the bracket leon here actually represent 1s2 2s2 2p6 already so you don't have to write that all that long so after Leon, you will name normally. After Leon, you name 3S2, 3P2. Okay? And then you do the same thing. You underline the highest energy level and then add up the electron together. All right? So uh, nickel, for example, 28. So 28, we find nickel, which is here. This is on period 4. So we go 1 up, which is period 3, and we go all the way down to the right-hand side, which is AR. Right, so we write down argon, AR bracket. So AR represent like everything in the front. So after AR, we continue to name 4S2, 3D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 3D8. And the highest energy level is 4, so it's 2 electron. Now, what if your already like given element is a noble gas already? What are you going to do? You want to use a previous noble gas. So same thing. So Kr is already a noble gas. So Kr is number 36. It's already a noble gas. Then we will use a previous noble gas, which is Ar. So Ar, and then after that, we enable uh, 4s2, 3d10, and then 4p6. Same thing for Leon. Leon is already a noble gas. So we use the previous one, which is He. Okay, so after He, we will 2p, 2p, uh, 2s2, 3, uh, 2p6. Okay, so someone probably asked me, what if helium, helium, what else do we use? Well, helium is already a small one. It's already noble gas, it is a smaller one. So there would be no, like, noble gas way. Noble gas and the long hand is the same thing, which is HE, right? One has two, that's it. Okay, so HE do not have noble gas configuration because HE is already the smallest one. Okay.